Now we all know that there's a right time to buy new golf clubs. But there's also a wrong time. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all guys, it's very, very windy today, so you're gonna have to just bear with us, Mark, aren't they? Yes. Second of all, thanks for coming on, Mark. That's quite right. Third of all, guys, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave, because that way you won't miss any of the great golf related content yeah. we bring to you guys every single day. Today, today we've got a bag of tricks. We've basically got a bag of new clubs, Mark bag of new clubs and yes. sometimes there's a right time to buy them there definitely is and also a wrong time so we're going to kick things off do you want to tee off first okay we're also going to play <clears throat> i've caught you out off guard there haven't i oh yes yes <laughs> so why are you getting ready for you when's the right time to buy new golf clubs when i feel that i can move my game forward mm -hmm. a bit further than my current clubs allow me to okay yeah perfect so i look i'm looking at confidence i'm, I'm hitting my the current club very very well um, but I think I can get more yeah. further with better clubs. So not just when a new driver is no, not released. Not because it's a new driver. Or a putter. The slightest mm. sort of thing, but yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I've, I've got as far as I can with these clubs. Yeah. Let's look at all the Okay, I'll let you send us away. And you see guys, it's almost a little bit of an impromptu video this because uh, we've basically been testing all morning and we sat over lunch and we just kind of thought, well, it's been good hasn't it? But there's a reason why we're doing that. I don't want to give it away just yet, but the... yeah. stay with us. Yeah. Stay with us. It's a great shot. Right, Mark, which one should we go with? We've got Cobra, Maverick, and Sim. Well, wallop the Cobra down there. Cobra? Because she's not hit this one left. <laughs> <laughs> Timber. So this is the time to buy a new golf club. <laughs> All away. Take a bit of that, Mark. Even with the head cover. Even with the head cover. Right, Mark, so successfully away off the first tee, but this, this is this a match? I can't say this is a match, is it's it? Not really a match. It's no. not really a match. But a little bit of advice about when people should buy new golf clubs, that's obviously why they've tuned in. You say when you think you can improve your game. Definitely. I would definitely agree with that. I'd also go as far as saying, if you want something to push you, if you want another reason to practice, if you, you want that bit more excitement in your life, or in your golf life, should we say. Yes, a new challenge. Absolutely, yeah. And you may see that at the moment we're kind of, the first hole is going to be all about, we're playing two holes, by the way, because it's freezing. The first hole is going to be all about why or when you should buy new golf clubs. The second hole will flip the argument round and we'll say when you shouldn't buy new golf clubs. I think that's fair? Yeah. Fair definitely, enough? Definitely. definitely. And Mark's come out with it's a good job, it's not is that why it's not a match? <laughs> yeah, I've only got a very, very slim set. <laughs> but that's all I need. Right, Mark, two balls in the fairway, which is quite a rarity when we play actually. What a lovely bag that is. That's definitely making your what's in the bag for uh, for this year. <laughs> Go on, I'll yeah. let you play. Right, okay, this isn't going to reach the green because it hit the club to reach the green with. <laughs> it's another lovely shot, that Mark. So, regards to when to buy new clubs, obviously, you got fully fitted for a full bag last year at Ping. I did, so yes. So, if people want to see that, obviously, they can tune into that, but yeah. How much would you recommend getting fitted when it comes to the time of buying new clubs? Oh, definitely. There's no, there's no point in getting new clubs without a fitting, yeah. in my view. Uh, because, because the professionals are there to help you and advise you on, on, on what clubs are going to fit you best. And indeed help you with different types of... You know, if I wanted to play blades, yeah. because I wanted to do a specific... You know, I wanted to really challenge myself. Yep. They would fit me for blades, the best sort of blades that they can make. So they'll listen to what you want as well Absolutely. as what's going to suit. Yes. Hence why I ended up with these. Yeah, definitely. This isn't going to reach, not because I don't have enough clubs, but because I'm not confident in my own ability. Uh, yeah, well, you've got plenty of clubs in that bag. I, don't, I haven't got the club for it, I don't think. Oh, look at this. You're definitely going for it.
Well, under the wind. Oddly, it's under the wind. Yes. <laughs> and you see, Mark, I think as well that when we talk about club fitting, I I'm a massive advocate of it. I think people should definitely get fit, but. I got fit for my irons last year, quite late on. I didn't get fit for a driver. So this year what I'm going to do, I'm going to get fit for loads of different drivers, then see which one works in those regards. Yeah. So fitting is definitely a must, but also, so there is another time where it's acceptable or it's the right time, should we say, the perfect time to buy new clubs. When yours are a little bit old, yours are a little bit worn, and buying a little bit old and a little bit worn, I don't mean like a year old but like me you were going to say no not at all not that at what all. you were going to say i wasn't putting a facial expression <laughs> i actually wasn't either <laughs> if you if your clubs are old what were you using before you got fitted for your new ones i i had the i25s so they were and they were seven eight years old so you were, you were ready for yeah. new clubs i was ready for new clubs so yeah, i was that's the right time to buy <clears> new <throat> clubs oh that's a beautiful shot Stop dead. Too it, wet. Yeah, great shot though. Too wet. Should have shot off left from yeah. And you see guys, you'll probably see here that I've got a kind of full bag of clubs which we've been testing, and that's not because we're testing these out here today. It's to sort of show that when new clubs come out, new shiny head covers come out, people almost become magpies in the oh I need that new driver, I need that yeah. new wait, calm down, let's work on the game to start with, then let's also work out which which club's <coughs> gonna be best for you. Because I know we said we'd talk the first hole about when's the right time to buy new golf clubs, but there's also quite a few times that aren't the right time to buy new golf clubs. So the whole reason this video's come about, we were testing clubs today. Is that a really uncomfortable way of carrying your bag, though? No. <laughs> we were testing clubs today, and Mark's been having a few lessons, which is fantastic. And that's how he's going to improve his game. Mark's not going to improve his game by changing from the ping no. driver to the Cobra driver. Really? No, absolutely not. No, if, you, if, you're, if you're not playing well, there's no point in changing your clubs. But That's not going to make you play better. Absolutely, but then the testing showed that, and these videos will be coming very soon, the testing actually showed that now's probably the wrong time for you to buy a new driver. Yeah. Because although it's probably as good as it's ever has been in times, at times it's as bad as it's ever has been, so it's quite inconsistent. Yeah. And also, yeah. you don't know if... You don't know if you've reached a plateau in the level of your game, or you don't know if you're still on the rise, so you wouldn't exactly. want to get exactly. fitted for a shaft or for a driver or for irons, and then still be improving no i mean i'm going through i'm going through lessons at the moment to to develop my strike for my for my driver yeah so there's no point in me getting measured and fitted for a driver now yeah because my drive's changing yep and will be changing over the next few weeks several weeks or so wrong so time that, it's the wrong time there's no point in changing my driver now yep it's when i've when i've got the drive going consistently then i can look at driver options these ones it's so important that when you're spending this much money, you're spending this amount of money, it can be up to £500. You've got to A, do it at the right time, and B, make sure you buy the right one because you don't want to have to be buying two, do you? Oh, yes, please. Well make sure you get the right wedges as well. We'll have a bit of that. I've just come from playing on in Spain. <laughs> So the Spanish greens are completely different to this. Yeah. So wish me luck. This is February in the UK. That's not enough. That's not enough. Nowhere near. Oh, welcome to mid handicap <laughs> golf, everybody. <laughs> what about buying a putter, Mark? So a lot of new putters have come out recently. There's a lot of marketing behind them. Is there a right time? I can't try this with one hand and I can't. There we go. Is there a right time to buy a new putter? Well, again, that's, that comes down to consistency, and, and putting is all about confidence yeah. on the green and being confident with what, how you're striking it and, and, and how the, the read is going. Um, so I think if you're if you're if you're happy with the way you're currently playing with your putter, then look at alternatives. Yeah. Just to see if it's a better. But don't go and buy a new putter because you're putting badly. No, absolutely. Shocking not. decision. You've got to be you've got to be playing quite well with the putter to then look at well what other putters are available. And maybe get yourself fitted for a putter as well because you can do that. Yeah, exactly. Right, Mark, come on, let's have this one in. So is this for a half? Yeah, <laughs> we'll call it a match. Go on, I'll give you that. So this is one of the new triple tracks. Quite expensive, people might be kind of thinking, well, this is going to be the answer to all my putting woes. 
and realistically maybe a lesson would be with Chris plug because he'll enjoy that oh, oh look at that see if I'd have spent more money on a more expensive putter that would have gone in Move on. And then again, so we talk about the right and wrong time to buy golf clubs. Buying a putter in January or February in the UK, probably not the best idea because you're not going to get a great feel for it. You might be able to practice with it inside, but unless you're at one of the premier golf clubs in the country, the greens just aren't going to be that good because of the time of year. And that's nothing against the golf courses, it's nothing against the green stuff, it's nothing against golf in the UK. It's just no. what we have, isn't it? No, this time of the year is all about looking and th thinking about it. You know, if you want to go and look at new clubs then great go and look at them hit a few of them just get a feel for them see what you think to the club but don't buy it yet yet you know wait until wait until the summer's here and you, you, your swing is more consistent come on mark do you want to hit that new maverick well let's see what happens <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna go sim so you got the sim there james I've got the sim. Again, I'm undecided what I'm going to use, but I'm going to make sure I do change at the right time of year. I'm having lessons as well, so last thing I want to do is change my driver and then change too much in the swing. Good shot. What about the wind saved me that? Yeah, what up? So Mark, wrong time to buy new golf clubs. We've spoken about when you're having lessons. Yeah. We've spoken about obviously the time of year and the quality of how you can test the golf clubs. But what about when they're all released on the same week and we've got loads of shiny new reviews on YouTube yeah. and- How on earth do you know what the right club is for you? Exactly. You can't just rush out and grab one. You've got to look at all of them. Yeah. And that's one thing which we've been discussing in the videos today that we've been testing. So Mark's been testing the Sim and the Maverick and the Mizuno. And we very much kind of said, well, yeah, you like them and they're good and they perform very well, but don't buy them because Mark said they're good. No. And don't buy them because I said they're good. Don't, I hope no one went and bought the M5 last year because I used the M5 last year because that's not why I used the M5 last year. I used it because it was the best for me. It's best for you. Yeah, exactly. But I do hope that people watch the videos and say, James has tested the M5, James has tested all, James has tested the Sim, James has tested the Cobra, he's tested everything to be yeah. fair, but we'll go and give them a go ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Get an idea of what, what you want to start with, perhaps. Test another one or two. You don't have to test every single one if you don't want to. Exactly, and then when the right time comes to go ahead and change your driver okay. or your irons or anything... Go and get fitted. Go and get fitted, exactly. Finishing my sentences. Let's finish, this, let's finish this hole because I'm freezing. Okay, so here it is. Strong wind, left to right. Flag blowing. This is a linksy style shot, isn't it? If ever we've seen one. Yeah. Oh, looks pretty good if it's big enough. Oh yeah, just Jimmy enough. Is that a great shot? Crikey. <laughs> Six inches shorter and that would have gone, like, either fallen off the front or gone left. So Mark, is there anything you'd like to add before we close this video on the wrong time to buy golf clubs? I think there's a, there's a big element about your personal health and fitness. Yeah. You know, if you're not feeling great, if you're, if you're, you're struggling. I never feel great. If you're struggling with your health at, in any way. Yeah. There's absolutely no point in going to be fitted. You've got to get yourself in order yeah, first, you need to you? Be, you need to be alert and awake and ready ready for going to, to have a fitting. But if I'm not fit, surely that new Maverick in that bag is going to make me feel better, is it not? Well, until you hit it, yes. <laughs> then you hit it and you think, oh damn, why did I spend that much money? Yeah. Well guys, and on that bombshell, as Jeremy Clarkson once said, am I allowed to say that? Bombshell? On that, it's like him, if he copyrighted it or not. Oh, I doubt it. Anyway, so we're going to leave you on these putts. That was, uh, that's the best shot I have it all year. So, that was a great Mark, shot. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Do you have anything else to say to the guys who are thinking about buying new golf clubs? Think about it, look at them, test them. Test all of test them. Them, test them, test them, test them. You know what, that's a fantastic point. Where I don't think people get 
to do enough. Test them, test them, test them, test them. It doesn't cost anything to test them. And your pro will understand, or the guys in the shop will understand that you need to get the right club for you. You need to get the right, you need to spend the right money. Yeah. So if that means going to test them, if I'm going to go and buy a new car, how many times do I bring cars into my videos? Exactly. But I'm going to go and test drive a BMW, test drive an Audi, test drive a Vauxhall, a Peugeot, all of them. And then I'm going to see which one suits me the most and which one's the best value for money. Yeah. See what, see what demonstrators the, the pros got in the shop. Take one out, play with it. And play two or three times with it. Just see how it works for you. But then don't discount it if it's the wrong shaft. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Just, just try them, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It would mean the world to me. And it'd mean the world to Mark. It would. <laughs> it's great. I love followers. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Mark. <laughs>